Hey, hi everyone. This is Prashant. Welcome to my channel. So we are in a playwright series. Today we are going to one of the no, no, most of the series won't like do this video like cookies. So basically, in real time, wherever going to work on your offices places, there we need to focus on cookies as well. Okay. First of all, you want to ask, question, what is cookie basically? So cookies is the basically about your information about your sessions. Whenever you log into any websites, it will store certain datas. for their reference to make uh, your browser more faster so that's an intriguing question will come what is it different between catchy and cookies so catchy is kind of same like cookies is store the data but it stores only in the browser okay so if you are uh, deleting the browser it mean it will goes off but in cookies cookies stores the data in the browser as a server what the server na is that the company's database okay so to to view the cookies so basically we can add extensions like see this no i added uh, this extension because because i will always use in projects okay this is a cookie editor this will bring all the cookies which is related to the this page okay when i am in right now in redbus.in if i click on this cookies the redbus.in has certain items of myself like languages the uh, like uh, the english i am selecting and uh, which country i am from i am from india what kind of currency i am using so these are the catchy information about my past history it will capture that even i have the udi id like user identification numbers so this and all uh, like like this kind of numbers it has a my um, like my id so when i am log in it will create a new session id and it will they will in pro, in real time projects they will track on it okay so to to understand these things we need to do in our code so right now i am going to create a new simple class pi pi like cookies a demo sign of okay as usual in this i will import playwright dot sync api from this import sync playwright in in with sync playwright as a p so first as usual create a browser from the p dot chromium to launch the browser in the headless mode equal to false then yesterday i taught you the context today we are going to do that only browsers contact is context is used to store multiple pages okay new context from this context i'm going to create a page context dot new page this is all done next thing is we need to go to the url i'm going to the redbus url okay redbus dot in dot in indicates dot india you can use any urls okay after that i need to know the cookies how to know the cookies my i am going to store my cookies where i am getting from page dot context dot cookies so it will fetch all the cookies about that website i am going to print it in the screen print in my cookies okay so simply what i done i am using the page dot context dot cookies to read all the cookies about that page okay so i am running this script okay right click and run your script so it will launch the browser are doing to read all the data see this it has a name country value india the and domain this is the uh, domain path is null expires minus 1 secures true same lacks name is currency value is aina so this is how it will stores all the informations about the customer who is logged into their application if for an example if you are using a bank kind of stuff the bank will verify which you the ip address which is you are using is a new new means it will send out some extra notifications if already the ip address is there in the list so they will reduce the verifications and in sometimes the session cookies are like if you are going uh, like keeping a bank for more than 5 minutes means it will automatically log out and it shows again sign in again to do the operations so this kind of things how the 
our your application will understand no based upon the cookies only okay so and uh, most of our test cases suppose we need to start with the fresh test case no what we need to do we need to clear the cookies from the process because right now you are using one username password with testing username password after that you are going to put another username password but if the cookie is still in the old browser means it will impact the test cases so what you want to do you want to clear the cookies so for that we need to click the page dot context dot clear cookies if you are using clear cookies na the cookies will clear all the old cookies data okay this will helpful when we doing with the multiple users because in our test case we will run on 300 test cases 400 test cases with the different number of users like use is an impossible with the different accounts like admin number normal user general user like that so that places the clear cookies is useful lot and next thing is this is i taught you for clearing the all the cookies this method previous method is what we study na gives all the cookies suppose you can ask question how can i insert certain cookies suppose i want to have some cookies in my 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 setup what can i do so for that new i'm going to create a new cookie okay so in the new cookie like i'm telling uh, this cookie uh, has uh, uh, like name equal to uh, like ravi and it has the uh, like ud id id as so on so id so i created a new cookie right so how can i insert this cookie so for that i need to use a page dot context dot cookies context dot add cookies in this i want to pass this list so what is my cookie new cookies is my cookie okay so this is how you need to pass the new cookie to the your page okay so uh, this is to i'm writing it to pass the new cookies to the page so this is three methods first is how to fetch all the cookies and we need to validate the cookies right or wrong and we can clear the cookies whenever we we need a new browser or new setup and third one is we can insert the certain needed if it is anyone asking in interview how you will set up certain cookies how you control the cookies but this and all high level company they will ask not the mid level companies so those places you can easily answer this so uh, try to study what is catchy and what is cookie okay that is the entry question and next thing is we are going to see another uh, like one jolly topic is how to take a screenshot in playwright okay so for that simple so you want to write a page dot this is i'm going to write for taking screenshot screenshot means like your uh, like entire website screenshot okay so for that page dot screenshot screenshot in the screenshot you want to give a path in which path you want to write i'm i'm not giving any i'm directly giving like test dot png you want to mention the extension okay i'm going to run this we'll see it is taking the screenshot or not okay so launch the browser okay so see here in this place it is created the screenshot right how cool no you know you don't need to write to any code playwright will do everything okay this is the only the website suppose prashant i want to take the entire screenshot because some of the clients ask time stamp uh, also in the screenshot so for that you want to make full screen page as true so if you are making this full screen na uh, it will take entire screenshot the normal one take the only the browsers but this will take entire page like enter your screen whatever is opened okay so that is a cool thing of uh, this one okay so i'm going to open it again 
see this it takes the entire page like it uh, previously we have only small scroll but this red bus has the very big screen actually it has a long, lengthy screen so this will help in a single scroll you know how cool no you can easily you can uh, like this kind of stuff will help us lot okay so this is this is how we need to take a screenshot okay today is a small topic but it's very impactful when it was most of the testing series won't cover the cookies because cookies are very important so today we saw how to create a how to get a new cookies and how to clear the cookies and how to insert our new cookies and taking a screenshot why i'm we didn't add the cookies means this is our testing site we cannot add the cookies in real time you based upon your system requirements your application requirements you can pass those cookies in this okay so and if you need na you can simply install this cookie cookie editor okay you guys know no how to add a like extensions click on this button uh, go to your uh, manage extensions in the manage extensions uh, go to the chrome store in the chrome store you can simply uh, not only this app uh, there are so many uh, uh, like apps is there to find the cookies but mine i use so many places my fun suggestions i am using cookie editor but there are so many other extension as well to find the cookies so after that i simply click on an install that's it okay it will come in this picture so when are you clicking here it will shows all the datas about yourself okay so thanks for watching this video if you like the video please like and subscribe if you are facing any issues please put me in the comment i will rectify it and uh, tomorrow we are going to see one of the other best topic like advanced uh, web automation topic like ca called actions like keyboard actions mouse actions how we will do those things and after that we will do the web calendar there are so many things in the series on the way uh, we are uh, and i'm also reading daily i'm reading and i'm taking the classes so i'm also learning new new things in the playwright playwright is actually the cooler thing it is reducing lot of my time and python as well python also simplifying the code if you taking java na you want to write so many codes so many like open braces curly braces variable methods but in python it's rectifying everything in a smaller space okay so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye